to the video of the tutorial that we are working on for the job marketplace so we are now working on the admin dashboard so admin dashboard is quite simple um, doesn't take a lot of effort to do it but I think you may need to create um, you know certain um, responsive design there's a lot of effort to it but otherwise um, it's quite simple and direct so let's get started so as um, as my design of the layout I created uh, multiple views without having to change and uh, without having to create another page and so on so it will be the same thing as, as uh, on the previous tutorial okay um, so yeah um, let's get started about it is that I as you can see here there's a visible element sorry yeah so this is the visible element uh, element expector of the of the custom safe elements which our view users so the view users would seem to be the, the one that display as the default value whenever you load this page and the view jobs view companies and so on right so if you refer to the previous tutorial uh, they are made similar especially on the company dashboard uh, the concept or the implementation is, is the same so let's just um, let's just get started on it is that you have uh, you have groups here for the list of users so on the list of user you have conditions where um where i mean dashboard the page of this view users is yes then this element is visible and after that this this thing will appear now of course second you have this thing called pending job so maybe i'll try to explain later or a bit further what the, the functions of this thing but for for the responsive viewing is that i mean dashboard view jobs is yes then take it as uh, this element is visible to change it you have to type here okay and then you have the list of companies also so so you can see here also uh repeat the same thing admin dashboard view companies is yes and then and then for the label here you can see the text here users jobs companies and logout okay for the for the users you have the start edit workflow you click on it you type on or you select um, set, um, state of elements when you when you select it you have the admin dashboard view users as, ye as a yes view jobs and also view companies as a no for both state okay and they're the same thing also for the jobs for the jobs you have also the state uh, set state of element you have the admin dashboard view job as a yes and then view companies as a no and the users as a no as well last but not least we have companies okay view companies admin dashboard view companies as a yes view users as a no view jobs as a no okay so that's uh, this has already been done for the, the design or the, the thing okay so so for this thing you have the list of users so you can extract or any kind of uh, list of data that you wish to collect but for my case i'll do for user full name user profile photo user email and also the registration date but i'll change it to a created date okay so in the data source of the repeating group user um, you have the layout style to vertical scrolling rows as a 10 and then columns as a 1 and then for the search of users it's similar it's quite simple extract here so that's it it's this thing of this of user would seem to be a uh, straight and straightforward thing and now you have the pending jobs to list on the platform list of jobs on the platform okay so in this case you have the um, the live jobs which means that the status will be to be uh, approved so which means that the admin on the this marketplace have to approve or decline whether or not this job listing is suitable or you know, appropriate to to list it on the marketplace okay so as you can see here let's get started so you have search for jobs as a source here and then jobs is equal to pending so as you can see we have the on the jobs the default value would be for the job listing status will be pending okay so if you wish to, to do approve and so on well you can do it also but 
um, but for this case for the admin to have the much more say uh, you know, authority or something like that you can do it uh, default value to pending or you know pre-approve or something like that right and then for the buttons you have here the approve and decline so so design it okay approve you can create a make changes to a thing click on it and then you can see here things will change will be the current sales jobs okay then job status equal approve yeah now if you if the admin wishes to to decline then the make changes to a thing current sales jobs job status equal to decline so here are the three options that you have and the way that i get the data from is through not this sorry through this job listing underscore status where you have three options here approve decline and pending right and then you have the find out more button so the find out more button uh it is to go to a page of the job posting so the job posting will be this one just to indicate or to to view whether the you know whether or not this this kind of job this thing is a, is a suitable or appropriate for it so this is just to give um the admin to give more uh assurance that this uh this job listing is is appropriate for the for the marketplace and yeah okay so for the list jobs of the platform which means that this thing list of uh, data source in the repeating group itself you have the search for jobs and then job status equal approve yeah that's it that's uh, quite simple then you also can replicate the same thing also current search the job title company name who's who's uh, who's the one that you know which company that that really really listing this job and then you have the find out more button which directs to or navigate to the job posting page and you have the status also and yeah so so that's it for the jobs of the database display the database of the jobs from the admin now you have the list of companies so you have the company name company admins company description and also created date so you have the very direct also as a data source you can see here search for companies company and that's it okay so there are a few changes that you may need to do on the database which are the user privacy and also data types so on the data types you have the um, user and then you add the new thing create a new field called admin underscore user and then you have to select yes or no that's a brilliant uh, brilliant type so so if you wish to register the admin you need to you need to create a new new data and so on through through this thing yeah so this is just an example of the the admin here right so if you wish to to make the user to admin or you do want you just change it change it on on this option here all right and then for user privacy you have the the thing to be to be changed so you need to create a current user admin user is yes then you need to select um find these in searches allow the binding full name location profile photo and so on so yes let's get started and i'll try to to test a user to list a job and then also that me will approve for the specific job that i have created so i will run as a user as a roboto right so i am accessing the love beta club so i will list a new job here
Okay, so I have already listed the job. But if I go to the job marketplace, it will not appear of the of the uh, marketing executive. But on the company dashboard, as you can see, okay, I go to the job listing. It says here marketing executive. But then the job listing status will be pending. All right. So let's let's try to access as admin, and then they can approve or decline the job listing. Right. So I need to create a new user here now that it's created so I need to mm, try to log out for a while And then I need to create this uh, this thing to a yes for the admin of the Maria Hill that I just created a user. But before that, I forgot to to mention on the um, on this thing here, sign up and log in, uh, reusable element. You have the you need to change one small change is that when you click on the sign in, and then you have the step two here as you can see. You have the step two, you need to change uh, to a destination called admin dashboard. That's how to send as current user. And then you create a condition when current user ad, un, admin underscore user is a yes. So which means that whenever a user who is assigned as an admin, they will navigate to a user as a to admin dashboard page whenever the, the user is admin. But otherwise it will be appear something like as per normal. All right. So let's just get back, get back to it. Okay. So I will sign in as a Maria Hill. Then I click on sign in. I will navigate to the jobs of the, I mean, sorry, the I admin mean dashboard. So as you can see here, these are all the, the all the register of users. Okay, companies. So the companies you can see here, uh, the company admins. You have two two users here, Ali Roberts and Boris the Animal, who is managing the company of Dino Dog Kingdom. And then the Love Business Club, you have uh, Roberto James and also Boris the Animal, uh, who is managing this company. And then you have the you know company description, created date, and then also jobs. Okay, and then also users. So let's just try to to approve for the marketing executive NFT. Okay, but let's just say that I may wishes to, to find out more whether this thing is good or not. Then you can click on the find out more. Okay, you can see all these things, all this, uh, you know, description that should be appear. Then let's just say that admin is, is satisfied or, you know, consider this, this job listing is, is okay. Then the admin will try to click approve. So, so it is done, and it's already been approved, and you can see here, this thing is already listed here. Okay, the marketing executive NFT is already been settled as a proof. And yeah, so that's it for the for the admin dashboard and the functionalities of the admin. So if you have any further questions about the admin dashboard, feel free to ask. But otherwise. I can conclude for this uh, for this tutorial. The next video will be doing the um, more touch up of the user profile and also also other amendments to do it. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.